everyone, Gabby Prado from H3TV, giving you an inside look at the cutting edge exercises the H3 team uses with their clients. Check it out. Hey everyone, Dan Hellman here from Hellman Holistic Health, also known as H3. Just got back from teaching for the Czech Institute, uh, where I was teaching Czech golf performance in San Diego and Czech practitioner level one in New York. While I was gone, I had a couple people asking me about how to stretch the neck muscles. So I thought this is a great time to show you all a video. So the first thing is that most people, and I'm going to say 99% of people, suffer from what Vladimir Yanda calls upper cross syndrome. Upper cross syndrome is when the head comes forward to the body, and or another way of looking at it is a drop front panel. So the sternum actually drops down. Now when that happens, the skull posturally rotates so that our eyes, our jaw, and our ears stay level. This causes the muscles at the base of the skull to become short and tight, and there's some real vital blood vessels that run up to feed our brain. So what I've designed is actually what I call a big bang neck stretch, because there's a lot of muscles to stretch, and if we did this individually, it would take forever. We have the subocipitals, we have the levator scapula, the upper trapezius, the sternocleidomastoid and the scalenes, all these guys need to be stretched when you have forward head posture or upper cross syndrome. So here's the stretch. I'm gonna do one quickly on each side for the short, to keep the video pretty short. First thing you wanna do is you wanna sit on a chair and you wanna sit on the edge of the chair. Don't lean back. Sit on the edge of the chair and sit really tall. Crown of the head going to the ceiling. Pretend you're that beautiful tall African woman with the long neck and you have a 50 uh, jug of 50 pound jug water on the top of your head and you're pushing that to the crown to the ceiling. Then I'm going to have you take the, your hand, your right hand, grab the chair, keeping your spine really tall. I just want you to lean your trunk to the left. Now that's going to anchor the right shoulder. Now you're going to take the left ear and you're going to drop it towards your left shoulder. From this position we're going to do the most important part of this stretch. We're going to tuck the chin. So I'm taking my chin and I'm tucking it toward my throat. Now from here to stretch the levator, I'm just going to turn and I'm going to look at my left shoulder. If you want to get a little bit more stretch, take two fingers, grab the back of your head and pull your head down towards your left knee gently. I do not hold my neck stretches for more than 10 to 15 stretch, uh, seconds. Then I'm going to come out of it, staying on the left side with the chin tucked. Now to stretch the upper trapezius, I'm going to turn and I'm going to look up to the ceiling and now I'm getting an upper trapezius stretch. Again, I'm gonna hold for 10 to 15 seconds, and then I'm gonna gently come out of it. Now we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. Grab the chair with the left arm, sit up nice and tall, crown of the head to the ceiling, lean the trunk to the right, take the right ear, drop it towards your right shoulder, now fully tuck your chin, pay note on how I tuck my chin, and now to stretch the levator scapula, turn your head to the right, Take two fingers and gently pull down towards your right knee. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds. Come out of that. Keep the chin tucked. Take your eyes and look up to the left. And rotate your head up to the left. And now you're stretching the upper trapezius. Great. Gently come out of that. Now we have left the sternocleidomastoid and the scalenes. Same principle. It's just that we're not going to do a chin tuck. We're going to do neck extension. So again, I'm going to grab the chair. Sit up nice and tall, lean away, left ear to the left shoulder. Now, I'm not going to chin tuck, I'm going to go into full neck extension. I'm already getting a pull here in the front of my throat, and to stretch one of the heads of the SCM, I'm just going to pivot my head to the right, hold for 10 to 15 seconds, pivot my head back to neutral, and now I'm going to pivot my head to the left, hold for 10 to 15 seconds, and then come out of it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now when we pivot the head one way, we get one of the heads of the sternocleidomastoid and one of the scalenes. And when we pivot the head the other way, we get the other head of the sternocleidomastoid and the other scalene muscles. Now to do the other side, again, grab the chair with the left, sit up nice and tall, lean the trunk away, right ear to right shoulder, take the neck back into full extension, pivot the head to the left, hold for 10 to 15 seconds, Come back to neutral, pivot the head to the right, go back into extension, hold for 10 to 15 seconds, and come back to neutral. And there you have it, something that I call the Big Bang Neck Stretch. Great for people with forward head posture and upper cross syndrome. If you have any questions regarding this stretch, 
You can always email info at helmetholistichealth.com. If you have neck issues, neck pain, you can always set up uh, an appointment for a free consultation by calling 954-566-0585. And you already know our motto, it's better body, better life.